Now, the reason why this is lute-shaped like this, this could sound just the same as this. It doesn't really have much to do with acoustics. What it has to do with supply and demand, because in the hmm. 16 and 1700s, these instruments got so popular that builders couldn't keep up with the demand. But they had these lutes. The bodies were built. Ah. So to keep up demand, they got a body of lute, slapped on the key chest, Huh. And voila, this became the preferred shape. Yeah. And we added more strings because this has more strings and these controls and everything. Mm -hmm. So it really doesn't have much to do with the acoustics as much as it does with trying to keep up with how the hurdy-gurdies were produced yeah. in the 16 and 1700s. Unquestionably, the 16 and 1700s was the heyday of the instrument. I think what I first want to start to do, just start with maybe one string. Right. What you don't want to do, though, ever, okay, is touch the surface of the wheel. No matter how clean your hands might be, mm -hmm. they will interfere with, this, with the wheel's ability to grip the strings. Yeah, and then um, this is rosin just like a bow. Right. We, yeah. Let me show you how we do this with the, thank you, with the left hand. Now, you might be wondering, how do I see where I'm going? Yeah. Because I cannot see these keys. If you look at the back here. Oh, so that's why the they go through. Because the you can see which ones that you're so hitting. So you can see which ones you're hitting. You just kind of look at which ones you want to play. Don't tell anyone else that when you're playing yeah. it. They'll think you're this <laughs> wonderfully intuitive musician. You need all, this, musician, yeah, you need you all know? this more skill. How hard are you pressing down on these? Because I've noticed this isn't... These, these are just a piece of wood. Yeah. There's no spring or anything. Gravity no. is just bringing it back down. Right. Mother Nature's doing it. Normally when I see a system where you're dividing a string up and stopping yeah. it from vibrating, it's always on a fret or a slide or something. Mm -hmm. And this is just wood going against it. I'm, I'm surprised that it works as well. It, it really does. And the tolerances are very exact. And you'll notice they're closer together the higher you go, just like the frets yeah, on a guitar. Yeah, just like a guitar. I know that, Mother. What is that? That sounds familiar. Uh, I don't know. Okay, that sounds kind of familiar. Okay. Sounds good. Another thing that's interesting is rather than a, a guitar string where you're directly on it or a key, keyboard, you need to give it time to fall. Absolutely. There's a, little a little bit. Bit, there's a little bit of lag time. That C sharp's one of my favorites yeah. for the drum. <laughs> that didn't mean to do that. Let's see if I add another uh, sure. this metal string here. This is just hollow in here, and does that help yes. amplify it? Yes, that's right. That's right. That's the whole body there. Mm -hmm. This is the soundboard right here. Yeah. And so this is all hollow in here. I'll jump in. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. And when I want to get really celebratory, okay, <laughs> and I'll play My Country Tis of Thee on it. Yeah. All the strings on, okay. Now I'll start to put in the drums. Wow. 
Well done. Thank that you. That shows a lot of control too in the right hand that you're able to. It's the hardest thing with a hurricane. Yeah. Because it sounds, well, you were doing it earlier when we were setting mm -hmm. up, and I thought that part of it was broken and you were fixing no, it. No, it's not. Now, on a medieval hurdy gurdy, we don't have them. Mm, so, okay. But with Renaissance period instruments, we do. It's called yeah. the dog. The dog? This is like the dog, mm -hmm. and it fits into mm. his house. <laughs> okay, now I would like to know, and I'm sure people watching sure. would like to know, how much do these retail for? Like, how, if you wanted to buy one of those or one of these, how much do these go for? Yeah, it depends on, on, on the model. For example, um, a medieval hurdy-gurdy is the least expensive, mm -hmm. um, and they're about like maybe a thousand, twelve hundred, and then you can go up to like four or five thousand dollars. Yeah, but now would be what that one would be around four or five. Well, 000. it depends on what you want on them. For example, yeah. how many strings, how much artwork. Um, if you go to George Leverett's uh, website, which is Alter music.com, A-L-T-A-R, mm -hmm. altermusic.com, or just Google George Lever at Hurdy Gurdy's. Yeah. Uh, you'll get to his website. Yeah. And they'll show you the, the basic prices and everything in the packages. I just happen to be their exclusive Midwest <laughs> distributor. <laughs> so if you definitely want a Hurdy Gurdy, I will order it from George yeah. and make sure that you get the right price.